Karen uh, has been inducted this year because of her outstanding contribution to football, both on the pitch as a player with all the things that she won, the quadruple, all those medals, all those England caps, but also what she's done off the field uh, by being very honest, standing up for mental health and being a really positive role model and now all that career in broadcasting. Karen Carney going into the Hall of Fame is a deserved uh, for me, I think a deserved inductee. Gosh, I remember Karen when she was about 16, when she was played for Birmingham and then came into the England scene. First made her name, I suppose, on the Euros, scoring a huge goal for the team. And, um, you know, just a massive character, such a, a winger that played with flair, intelligence, and uh, definitely someone that, that pleased the crowd. So uh, I think she'd done that for many, many years throughout her career. And um, I, I think she's well worthy of, of being in the Hall of Fame. I came in the stadium and I was obviously saying to yourself, I was like, I don't really know what's going on. And, and then came down the tunnel and seen, you know, people that I knew and uh, it was slightly overwhelming, um, but a brilliant surprise. And I think as well, like in a pandemic, it makes you realise the people that really matter to you and going down then were all the people that really matter to me. So it was really nice. From the earliest days when we saw Karen playing down the parks to be now a inducted into the Hall of Fame is just an astonishing achievement and realises many dreams for both Karen and for the whole family. I mean, it's how do you verbalise it? It's just, a, 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 I'm very humbled, very privileged and honoured to, to be amongst such amazing people, both male and female. So um, it's massive. I've got a 13-year-old niece and also my sister was here, my older sister was here today and um, she, she never had the opportunities to play but she went to matches, watched them, she became a referee, she was a grassroots coach and got me involved into it and I think I kind of owe it to her really and to show my niece as well that it wasn't always so easy for people, for females to play football. You know, it means a lot that we're trying to show young girls, especially my niece now, that you can do anything that you want to, that we've got open-minded people. You see football as a sport, you see a pundit as a pundit, not as a gender, and we appreciate it that you fall in love with a sport like I did. So um, it's important, and again, if I'm part of that journey to make a young girl, or even a young boy for that matter, be a part of it, then, then again, I'm really humbled and feel privileged.